Brian, hi everybody. I know uh, a lot of seventh graders are doing exponent rules right now. So I just wanted to go over three separate problems. They're gonna cover a lot of the rules that, I guess all of the rules that are involved with the exponents. Um, let's just start here. Why not start with number one? Um, first thing is if you have two variables like M, here, let me turn off my name here. Second, okay. If you two variables, m to the second, m to the third, if they're next to each other, you can actually add the two exponents. So m to the second, m to the third, we're gonna add two and three. That'll just be m to the fifth. And then what do we do with the twos? Well, it's the same thing. It's two and two. They're multiplied, they're next to each other. That's just gonna be four, okay? So this is a relatively easy one, but I have a few more to share here. Uh, we'll just do three problems today. This one is going to involve something to the zero power. Hopefully if you've heard anything to the zero, anything to zero power equal to one, like, 1,000 to the zero power is one. X to the zero power is one. Uh, happy face to the zero power is one. Technically, happy face is not a, uh, I guess you can consider it a variable. A variable can be uh, something in place of a number. All right, so let me get rid of that. Oops, okay. Now, this is, anything, even if it's x squared to the zero power. Let me kind of cover the, the rule in a better way. If it's a power to a power, you actually multiply them. Okay, so that's x to the two times zero, which is x to the zero, which is like I said, that's one. Same thing applies, let me just uh, do one more example here, like x to the third, to the sixth. Remember, it's a power to a power, so you're going to multiply. That's going to be x to the 18th power. Okay. Last one. Let's do this one. All right. The final equation, final problem here is a power to a power, but we also have a negative exponent. So um, I was actually just working with a student and it's a good point. If, if it's like X over Y, if it's a negative exponent, you flip it. So like X to the negative two, um, technically anything, any, any number, any letter is over one. So if it's a negative exponent, you put it down to the like, if it's on the top, it goes to the bottom. If it's on the bottom, it goes to the top. So right now it's on the top. So we'll put it down to the bottom. I guess you could put the one there, but you don't really need to. And then because there was something on top that was like one X square X to the negative two, um, we'll actually keep a one over there. So it's one over X squared. Um, a really good question that came up yesterday though is, well, what if it's negative X to the negative two over Y? only the x goes to the bottom. A lot of times you might think, oh, well, I flip it. So will this become, will I flip it and it will become y over x squared? No, unfortunately not. The only thing that happens if it's x to the negative two over y, only the x goes to the bottom. So if there's anything that's left on top is just one and it would be y times x to the two. Okay, um, that was just a little aside before we get to this actual problem. So all of this technically is over one. So let's flip it. Let's put this whole thing, everything to the negative fourth power, let's put it on the bottom. So two X squared to the fourth, positive fourth, one on top. I like this problem because it's using a couple different rules. Now. Like I said before, the four is like a, 
This is like two to the one. One times four. So that would be two to the fourth. And then x squared, well, two raised a power to a power, two times four, let's multiply. So that would be x to the eighth. And if we really want to get fancy, we have to figure out what's two to the fourth. Two times two times two times two, that's two to the fourth. Like a exponent, right, it means times itself. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So all together now, we'll go back to blue because I like blue, uh, would be 16 x to the eighth, one over 16 x to the eighth. All right, so just a short little video of the day for exponents. Um, hopefully that helped and we'll see you next time. Thanks.